Hello learners, today we are going to discuss about factors affecting rate of reaction, order and molecularity of a chemical reaction. After this discussion, you will be able to distinguish between elementary and complex reactions, determine the rate law from initial rate data, determine the order of reaction with respect to each reactant, the overall order of reaction and the rate constant with units. Differentiate between the molecularity and order of a reaction. You have already learned that rate of reaction can be calculated by measuring the change in concentration of reactant or product per unit time. The rate of any reaction depends on certain factors which determine whether the reaction will proceed with a slow or fast pace. Let's study the effect of various factors such as temperature and concentration on the rate of reaction. Let's have some fun with these chemicals. The name of this reaction has been given blue bottle reaction. For this, we have in front of us the same content in three flasks, namely A, B and C. The reagents taken in each flask are methylene blue, which is a dye, potassium hydroxide, dextrose and water. The concentration in each bottle of all reagents is the same. The only thing different is the temperature of the content in all the flasks. The solution in first flask is kept in warm water bath. The second flask has solution at room temperature and the solution in the third flask is placed in ice water bath. We will shake the solution in the three flask for about 10 times to dissolve the dye and you can see the color changes in all the three flasks to blue. Notice the change in all three flasks. The solution in the warmer flask has already turned back to colorless, indicating that the reaction is almost complete. The blue color of solution in the flask at room temperature is turning to fade slowly and the solution in the flask at lower temperature is still blue. What conclusion do you draw from this observation? Yes, we can see that the temperature was the factor which is affecting rate of reaction. The rate of reaction increases with increase in temperature and slows down if the temperature is low. Let us perform the blue bottle reaction again, but this time we will keep the temperature of the solution in the flask same but change the concentration. I have taken methylene blue, potassium hydroxide, dextrose and water in both the flask but of different concentration. The first flask has lower concentration of the solution and the second flask has higher concentration. Let's shake the flask again 10 times as done earlier. Carefully notice the change in flask once I keep it back after shaking. What do you see? The solution in flask 2 having higher concentration has already turned colorless whereas in flask 1 it is still blue indicating that the reaction is still not complete. What do you conclude from this observation? Yes, the speed of reaction is faster in flask having higher concentration and comparatively slow in the flask having lower concentration. Thus, we can say that the rate of a reaction decreases with the passage of time as the concentration of reactants decreases. Conversely, rates generally increase when reactants concentration is increased. So, Rate of a reaction depends upon the concentration of reactants. The representation of rate of reaction in terms of concentration of reactants is called as the rate law or rate expression. Consider a general reaction where A moles of A reacts with B moles of B 
to give c moles of c and d moles of d. We can write rate law for this reaction as rate of reaction is directly proportional to the concentration of A raised to the power x multiplied by the concentration of B raised to the power of y. By replacing proportionality with proportionality constant k, the equation can be written as rate equals to k multiplied by concentration of A raised to the power x multiplied by concentration of B raised to the power of y, where k is rate constant. The exponents x and y may or may not be equal to the stoichiometric coefficients a and b of the reactants. We know that rate of reaction with respect to reactants is minus dr by dt. Therefore, equation can be written as minus dr upon dt equals to k multiplied by concentration of A raised to the power of x multiplied by concentration of B raised to the power of y. This form of equation is known as differential rate equation. What does the power of concentration of reactants in rate law expression indicate? x and y indicate how sensitive the rate is to the change in concentration of A and B. X represents order of reaction with respect to A and Y represents order of reaction with respect to B. The sum of powers of the concentration of the reactants in the rate law expression that is X plus Y is called the overall order of the chemical reaction. Thus, order of reaction is defined as sum of the powers to which the concentration terms are raised in the rate law expression. Order of reaction can be 0, 1, 2, 3 and even a fraction. It is important to note that order of a reaction can only be determined experimentally and not from the coefficients of the balanced equation. The units of rate constant depend on the overall order of a reaction. If we rearrange the rate of equation for k, we get k is equal to rate divided by concentration of A raised to the power of x multiplied by concentration of B raised to the power of y. Representing this equation in terms of units of concentration and rate, we get unit of k as moles per liter per second divided by moles per liter raised to the power y plus x, where y plus x is overall order of a reaction. If the overall order of reaction is 0, then we get unit in SI system as moles per liter per second. If the overall order of reaction is 1, then we get unit in SI system as per second. And if the overall order of reaction is 2, then we get unit in SI system as liter per mole per second. In addition to rate of reaction, chemical kinetics also explains about mechanism of a reaction means how do molecules take part during the reaction. Let us now understand the concept of molecularity of a reaction. A balanced chemical equation never gives us the true picture of how a reaction takes place. A reaction may take place in one step and is called an elementary reaction or in a sequence of multiple steps called a complex reaction. Each step in a complex reaction is called an elementary reaction. The sequential representation of all the elementary reactions in overall reaction is called the mechanism of the reaction. The number of reacting species, atoms, ions or molecules taking part in an elementary reaction which must collide simultaneously in order to bring about a chemical reaction is called molecularity of a reaction. The reaction can be 
unimolecular when one reacting species is involved. For example, decomposition of ammonium nitrite by molecular reaction involves simultaneous collision between two species, for example, dissociation of hydrogen iodide. Trimolecular or termolecular reactions involve simultaneous collision between three reacting species, for example, combustion of nitric oxide. Why are reactions involving more than three molecules very rare? The probability that more than three molecules can collide and react simultaneously is very small. Hence, the molecularity greater than three is not observed. It is therefore evident that complex reactions involving more than three molecules in the stoichiometric equation must take place in more than one step. Then the question arises which step controls the rate of the overall reaction? The overall rate of the reaction is controlled by the slowest step in a reaction called the rate determining step. This concept can be understood better by drawing an analogy with the manufacturing of a bicycle. Steps involved in the manufacturing process, manufacturing of frame, production of accessories and assembling. Let's say manufacturing of frame requires one complete day. Manufacturing of accessories takes half a day. We can manufacture as many accessories as we want in a day. But assembling is not possible without the frame of bicycle. Hence, rate of production of bicycle depends on the rate at which frame is manufactured, which is the slowest step, that is, the step which takes maximum time. Hence, slowest step is the rate determining step. Let us understand this concept by taking example of decomposition of hydrogen peroxide which is a complex reaction and takes place in two steps. The first step being slowest is the rate determining step. Hence, the overall order of reaction is 1. Thus, from the discussion till now, we conclude that generally rate of reaction increases with increase in temperature and decreases with decrease in temperature. Generally, rate of reaction is directly proportional to the concentration of reactants. Order of reaction is an experimental quantity. It can be zero and even a fraction, but molecularity cannot be zero or a non-integer. Order is applicable to elementary as well as complex reactions, whereas molecularity is applicable only for elementary reactions. For a complex reaction, order of a reaction is equal to the molecularity of the slowest step of a reactant or product. Here are few questions for you to solve and apply the concepts studied today. Question 1. A reaction is second order with respect to a reactant. How is the rate of reaction affected if the concentration of the reactant is doubled or reduced to half? Question 2. Which reaction will take place faster and why? Carbon reacting with oxygen at 500 degrees Celsius to form carbon monoxide or carbon combining with oxygen at 1000 degrees Celsius to form carbon monoxide. Keep practicing and keep learning. Thank you.